the innocents were slaughtered as infants for Christ. Spotless they follow the Lamb and sing forever. Glory to you, O Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you, and with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, whom the holy innocents confessed and proclaimed on this day, not by speaking, but by dying, Grant, we pray, that the faith in you, which we confess with our lips, may also speak through our manner of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. This is what we have heard from Jesus Christ and the message that we are announcing to you. God is light. There is no darkness in him at all. If we say that we are in union with God while we are living in darkness, we are lying because we are not living the truth. But if we live our lives in the light as he is in the light, we are in union with one another and the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin in us, we are deceiving ourselves and refusing to admit the truth. But if we acknowledge our sins, then God, who is faithful and just, will forgive our sins and purify us from everything that is wrong. To say that we have never sinned is to call God a liar and to show that his word is not in us. I am writing this, my children, to stop you sinning. But if anyone should sin, we have our advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, who is just. He is the sacrifice that takes our sins away and not only ours, but the whole world's. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our life like a bird has escaped from the snare of the fowler. Our life like a bird has escaped from the snare of the fowler. If the Lord had not been on our side when men rose against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their anger was kindled. Our life like a bird has escaped from the snare of the fowler. Then would the waters have engulfed us, the torrent gone over us, over our head would have swept the raging waters. Our life, like a bird, has escaped from the snare of the fowler. Indeed, the snare has been broken, and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our life, like a bird, has escaped from the snare of the fowler. Alleluia, alleluia, we praise you, O God, we acknowledge you to be the Lord, the noble army of martyrs praise you. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. After the wise men had left, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother with you, and escape into Egypt, and stay there until I tell you, because Herod intends to search for the child and to do away with him. So Joseph got up and, taking the child and his mother with him, left that night for Egypt, where he stayed until Herod was dead. 
This was to fulfill what the Lord had spoken through the prophet, I called my son out of Egypt. Herod was furious when he realized that he had been outwitted by the wise men, and in Bethlehem and its surrounding district, he had all the male children killed who were two years old or under, reckoning by the date he had been careful to ask the wise men. It was then that the words spoken through the prophet Jeremiah were fulfilled. A voice was heard in Ramah, sobbing and loudly lamenting. It was Rachel weeping for her children, refusing to be comforted because they were no more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, hi there and a warm welcome to this celebration. In recent years, this has become a day when we pray for the unborn everywhere in the world, those who are brought to term, those miscarried, and those whose mothers terminate the pregnancy before their child is born. As abortion has become more common in the West in the last 50 years or so, today's feast has gained a different character and a more solemn character. We now recall not just ancient events as we did in the scriptures, but the daily reality of those souls who, hidden and silent, have suffered the pain of death before they could taste the joy of life. We remember mothers who willingly or unwillingly have aborted their children and who remain marked and traumatized for the rest of their lives by their actions. As we remember our society, which has become coarsened by making the deliberate taking of life into something banal, by the pressure of vested industrial and scientific interests, and by the willful pride of individuals who pretend to make such actions into the travesty of a human right. The legislation created in the United Kingdom in 1967 was supposed to make abortion, in their own words, legal, safe, and rare. It's an argument that's been employed elsewhere too. It may be legal, but it is not safe and it is not rare. It is certainly not without consequences for the mother, never mind for wider society, to say nothing of the fetus. So we can never willingly accept abortion as a right or as a duty or as a good. But what we can do is to continue to act and to pray, to love the mother, to love the child, and to support them both in every way that we can. Have a happy feast, and may God awaken all consciences. Today we celebrate the Feast of the Holy Innocents and pray for all unborn life. The Holy Innocents bore witness not in word but in death. May the Lord give us the courage to bear witness to life in word and deed. Lord hear us, Lord graciously hear us. The Holy Innocents washed their robes clean in your own blood. May the Lord cleanse us from all sin. Lord hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. The holy innocents gave their lives for Christ. May the Lord grant peace to all who have given their lives into his hands. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Mary bore the unborn Christ in her womb with love beyond all telling. May all mothers be moved to imitate her love for her son. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Christ, the King of the universe, became a child to save us. May the Lord save those yet unborn. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pause for a moment to add our own special prayers today.
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Almighty God, you sent your Son to live among us as a child and to give his life for all humanity, born and unborn. Listen to our prayers for our suffering brothers and sisters and welcome them all one day into your kingdom of light and peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your devoted servants, and purify us as we faithfully serve these your mysteries, by which you grant justification even to those who lack understanding. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Behold those redeemed as the first fruits of the human race for God and the Lamb, and who follow the Lamb wherever he goes. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come, at least spiritually, into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, abundant salvation to your faithful as they receive your holy gifts on the feast day of these your saints, who, though still unable to profess your Son in speech, were crowned with heavenly grace on account of his birth, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son 
and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.